There's loads of exciting team news happening at the moment, Martin. Yes, there certainly is. And it got us thinking, uh, which riders out there are going to show their metal on the downhill season? Let's have a chat. This is the downhill racers to look out for this year. Go on then, Neil. Who you got? Who you think? Right, I started off with young guns. I'm saying Loris Vergier. He was one of the Frenchmen yeah. that shook up the scene last year. I think he's hungry for a second win, or, or at least more than that, I would have thought, actually, on yeah. his Santa Cruz 29er. Yeah, I mean, he must be getting used to that bike now, and the team seems to be solidifying around those riders um, on Santa Cruz, and Vergier's got to be a danger man, hasn't he? He's got to be someone to look out for. I'm going to raise you, Loris Verge, though, with yeah. Martin Mays. I, th Martin I think Mays. they're the same age. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, Martin Mays had an incredible season last year. He of did. course, he won those Enduro Round Series events, um, but also came to downhill and basically shook up the downhill scene, winning a World Cup and getting second at World Championships. Uh, it's the second coming of John Tomac in my eyes, is yeah. Martin May, so I'm sure he's going to win a lot of things next year. Will it be downhill? Yeah, I mean, which which class is he even going to ride in? What do you think? Is he going to be EWS or downhill? Apparently he's going to start off doing the two and then decide halfway through season which one he's going to continue with. It must be difficult when you're that good. When you're that good really winning. Must. Yeah, yeah. Who else are we looking out for in 2019? Tani Seagrave, I think she cemented her reputation uh, mm -hmm. when the last few years to be fair but uh, mm. she's really close at getting that overall last season so I think she's going to come out swinging this year and try and get that big title mm, I'm not sure though Neil right because Tani Seagrove she's one of those riders who's like the nearly woman, you know, nearly done it. I mean, there's been some riders in the past who just couldn't quite get over the line with either a world champs or that overall in World Cup. And Tani's getting dangerously close. And as her season goes on and how's her, how her career goes on, the pressure is going to grow. Ooh, well, Can difficult. she make it past the line and take out, you know, one of those riders like Rachel Atherton? I'd say, of course, it's difficult winning World Cup. So when yes. you're racing against someone like that, you know, once in a lifetime person like Rachel Atherton or... Yeah. Gwyn or Sam Hill, all these people that have won loads of World Cups, it's always yeah. going to be difficult trying to beat those people. Yeah, and I mean, I'm sure, you know, Tani is fantastic, but it's, she's no longer the young gun. There's some new people coming, I can True. tell you. True. Yeah, um, what about, uh, back to the guys, what about Ormeray Perian? He has just had, like, <laughs> well, he came from nowhere, kind of. I mean, we knew he was yeah. fantastic, but the start of last season was literally, it, no one could touch that guy. He was amazing. It was incredible. He's shown some speed in previous years, but last year was unbelievable the guy and it was great to see I thought it looked like he really enjoyed himself doing it yeah it's difficult it's, it's all head games Daniel and I think Danny Hart did it a few years ago. He yeah. started winning, 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 and then the season finished. He came yeah. back next year and found it a bit more difficult to repeat that uh, winningness. Yeah, that sweet spot's hard to hold on to. I mean, he won three World Cups mm. on the trot. He won the overall. He nearly won Worlds. He did. I mean, if he can carry that form over, then everyone is in serious trouble. He would be my uh, hot pick, I would say, for the year. Yeah. On yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, an outside bet here, but someone I still think you need to watch is Reese Wilson. He scored a oh, podium yeah. at uh, the World Cup at Fort William, the first Scott to ever get on the World Cup podium there. Yeah. And he could be backing up again. This year he's signed for Trek uh, Racing, so interesting times. Yeah, a lot of pressure on him being on Trek because they'll be expecting results. He he made it into the top 10 and top 20 quite a lot. Um, yeah. Did really well. Obviously, that podium at Fordham was incredibly popular. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he is a, he's an outside bet for some big, you know, these riders, they tend to kind of get a moment where they start to believe in themselves and they creep into that top 20 and then once they're in there anything can happen factory ride might just be what he needs could be he could knows. be what about monica harasnik yep yeah this awesome girl ride. i think she is an amazing rider she won the ixs european downhill championship last mm. year um she got some podiums at world cups uh, and i really feel like the women's scene is is ripe for a change i think that Tani Seagrave and Rachel Afferton are waning stars. I just Ooh. said that out loud. I just said that out loud. Right, I put it out there. Tough. Monica Rasnick, she could be the one. Tani Seagrave is pretty young still, you know. Um, yeah. Valley Hall's coming off as well. She's racing junior next year again, but yeah. she'll be coming very yeah, soon. She'll get, she's sort of reminding me of uh, Anne Caroline, you know, where she was stuck yeah. in juniors. She knew she could compete with the, the senior elites. And uh, and she just wanted out of that out of that category because she wanted to go up against Missy Jove at the time yeah. and and beat her. In Big fact, time. she I remember at one point she did actually refuse to put on her World Championship Junior World Championship jersey because she was like, I actually won the other race. You just won't give me the jersey for it. Pretty cool. Big respect for that lady. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lucas Shaw, the guy who won well, qualifying how many times last year, but had some bad luck in the main races with mechanicals and crashes. He's got to show up this year. 
and yeah. go full guns for that win. Yeah, it feels like this is the year he's got to make his moves, isn't it? Because yeah. he's got he's such a talent, but he doesn't seem to be delivering like Santa Cruz pros have done in the past. Obviously, up against some big names there, and Greg Minar and Steve Pete, who deliver wins just whenever they want to, it seems like. definitely got speed. It's just trying to keep it together for one final run. Yeah. Is it going to happen? I'm pretty sure it will, actually. What about young gun Cade Edwards, an incredibly exciting rider? Uh, he's one of my favourite people to follow on Instagram. His skate park skills are unbelievable. One of the best all-round riders ever, yeah. I think, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he is UK national champion, junior world downhill champion. So he's got speed downhill. What about going up to the elite ranks? Yeah, let's see. This could be the year. What about Marine Cabaru? She's a very exciting rider, um, got lots going on. She's on a new team. Yeah, Scott Factory team as well this yeah. year. So that team's looking super strong. Yeah. Again, big financial backing from the team with all the people she needs, mechanic, mm. all the support she needs. Is yeah. that gonna you know, prove on the racetrack itself? Yeah, it'll be interesting actually, because she doesn't seem like the sort of rider that suffers from pressure. She always looks like she's having a great time. True. Um, she's got great style. I'm really looking forward to seeing what she can do. She was on Mondraker last year, right? Yes, yeah, she, she was. Yeah. Yeah, so well, another young uh, rider who doesn't seem to be phased by any pressure was Finn Isles. Yeah. Is he going to back that up with some good race shots this year? I think he probably will as well. One of my picks for the year. Yeah, I mean, this guy is really exciting. And he's the first of what I think is going to be a long list of riders coming out of Whistler in Canada. Yeah. You know I mean, he is a... Uh, one of those riders that has almost been coming out of that training camp. I mean, I've heard mm -hmm. people there saying that they want to have the top 10 fastest races in the world, like blocking out the top 10 you know, wow. in the future. That's their plans. Yeah. Um, and Finn Isles is kind of like their dream of the future. So, you know, he could be the guy this year that really does that for them. Uh, what about Brooke McDonald? So he came oh. swinging at the start of last year. He's the uh, fastest qualifier at the first round in Croatia. Yeah. Had a crash, broke his collarbone, unfortunately. So it took him a little while to get back onto the races. But mm. he's obviously got the raw speed. He's riding that Mondraker. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. I mean, he was unlucky, wasn't he? And it really mm. did mess up his season. Um, he was right back there at the end, like you said. Third place yep. in that World Cup. Oh, okay. it, was, it sort of feels like he's one of those nearly men. He could nearly do it, but he would be a very popular Absolutely. winner at World Cups for sure. So there's some of the riders we think you need to watch out for this year. Obviously, there's some big dogs missing from that list, but we know they're going to be there. People like Aaron Gwynn on his brand new intense 29er. Can't wait to see that. Uh, Rachel Atherton. Yeah, uh, I mean, on that new team. Yeah, so G, yeah. G as well came on strong at the end of last year. Yeah. I yeah. expect big things from G. Yeah, I mean, that guy. He's not do done it, yet. But... No, definitely not. Um, and what about Greg Minner? Well, like the goat. The goat. I'd suggest he's the goat, but I could be wrong. I'm sure yeah. someone will argue. But he could do some more winning. You never know. He's that good. Absolutely. Um, it'll be interesting to know what you guys think. Let us know in the comments section down below if you've got anyone else to suggest who you think could be big in the downhill season this year. Oh, I'm sure we've missed loads of people, but definitely yeah. suggest them as well. Uh, yeah. If you want to see Blake riding a cyclocross bike, because why not? Uh, click over there for that one. Yeah, if you want to see the Just Send It Dirt Shed show, then click here. Um, hit the old globe to subscribe and thumbs give us up a thumbs. if you're looking forward to the race season.